Hi ladies, this is Kirsten Tracy, Executive Director in Northern California, and I am so excited to spend this week with each of you talking about recruiting, and then once you have your new teammate, how to start her off right. Okay, so we're gonna spend the next five days diving into these topics. So first off, I want you to think about, when you think about um, our business, I want you to think about the human body. Okay, and when we are talking about, which we're not gonna to focus too much time on this week, but on home parties, that is the heart of our business, okay? Without the home parties, we are a party business. So without that, we don't have a business. And I really emphasize the home, as we've all talked about many times, because that is where you're going to meet. Um, meet people, build relationships, book parties, recruit, okay? But then recruiting, I think of as the brain of the body, okay? And the reason I say that is it is the smartest way to make the most money in this business. And you could argue, obviously, we, arms, legs, lots of other parts of our bodies that are extremely important, and those are our catalog parties, our vendor events, our fundraisers, all of those types of things, but our heart and our brain are necessities, and without those, we don't have a thriving business or a thriving thriving body. So, really want you to keep in mind this week as we're talking specifically on recruiting, that that is the brain, that's the smartest way and something that you really want to, even if you've never thought of doing it before, I really encourage you to, um, to stick with these videos this week and brainstorm and see, um, see why it is so beneficial to your business, okay? I like to say, I've heard it said before, parties are your paycheck, recruits are your retirement. And I've definitely seen that true in my own business. Your parties, that's your money you're gonna get that month in your pocket. That's what I consider that short-term cash, that monthly cash. But the recruiting, building a team, is what is going to build that residual income that you're gonna be able to count on every single month and into the future. Now, it starts small. Okay, as a senior consultant, you earn 2%, and then it goes up from there. So it might not seem like much at the beginning, but trust me, the more you build your team and you are consistent with your recruiting, that is going to really build that overrides that you're going to receive um, on your team. Okay, um, I would say now my paycheck is about... 15 to 20 percent from my personal volume and about 75 to 80 percent that I am getting at my commission from um, from team sales so definitely builds over time and definitely is that residual income that you're working towards okay what I one activity that I do with my team that I want us all to work on this week is I have seen from my team specifically but also nationwide, the trend that there seems to be five main groups that join 31. Okay, so you might want to get out a pen and paper for these. The five main groups that I have seen are teachers, nurses, stay-at-home moms, the empty nester or recently retired woman, and then what I like to call the connected woman. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of those categories. I'm going to use my notes over here. So teachers um, have flexible schedules. They have, they get off typically a little bit earlier, so they're able to do parties. They have the summers off. They also have a built-in customer base. Our teachers love our products. Um, I truly believe in the next few years there's going to be a consultant at every single school, and we want them to be on our teams. Um, so I really want you thinking about teachers. They love organization. They're creative. They know how to look for solutions with their students. Therefore, they would be great as consultants. Um, nurses, they have flexible schedules as well. Many work 12-hour shifts, which give them um, a few days off a week that they could schedule their parties. They also have a built-in customer base. Nurses are some of our best customers and hostesses. They love people. They're caring. They're genuine. They know how to build relationships, which is, as we know, so important to this business. Stay-at-home moms. Okay, they have lots of mommy friends. They love time out of the house to still be with women and to do adult talk. Um, they would like to still be able to contribute to the family budget. Um, that's how I started out this business was being a stay-at-home mom and needing to make extra money. Um, okay, Empty nester and those who have recently retired, 
they still want to be involved. They probably were your PTA president. They were room mom. They were involved in all the sports with their kids. And now their kids are off to college or have grown and they're not ready to cash in the chips yet. They still want to be, be active, be involved, be among people, have a place to belong to. They also are looking typically for a way to give back. And so they love being involved and being able to give back to their community um, through fundraisers, through 31 Gives, through things like that. And then the connected woman, this kind of follows the adage that if you want something done, ask the busiest person you know. So these are those women that work full time outside of the home, but then also manage their households beautifully. They're, they have their kids involved in lots of extracurricular activities and sports. And so they are great because they have, they can work their business on the go. They've got contacts and circles everywhere, lots of networking opportunities and lots of ways for them to, to really get going with all of the different connections that they have and they, they know how to be efficient and effective. Um, and so we know that that is a key to being successful in this business as well, okay? So what I want you to do this week is I want you to take 30 to 60 seconds. You can set, set a timer on your phone, um, on the computer, take 30 to 60 seconds and brainstorm as many ladies in each category. So take 30 seconds to think of all the teachers you know. 30 seconds to think of all the nurses, okay? And don't don't sit there and, well, I don't think they would, they would think this would be a good thing. Write their name down, okay? This is a brainstorming. You're gonna write down every single person. I want that pen moving the whole time. So I want you to do that for each of the five categories that I mentioned to you, okay? Then what I'm gonna have you do is, by, so by the end of that three to five minutes, you're gonna have a solid recruiting list. Then I encourage you to star the top three that you really want to contact this week, okay? Giving you an assignment that you're gonna contact this week and the goal is to be, is to intentionally contact them. We'll talk tomorrow about um, the way that I'm gonna have you contact them, but I want you to star three people that you are going to intentionally contact this week, okay? So let's say um, typically one in 10, the statistics show one in 10, if you ask every single person, okay, so if you ask all 10 people, one in 10 will join, okay? So if you, let's say you had 30 on your list at the end of this recruiting brainstorming activity. Well, if you asked all 30, okay, you have to ask every single person, if you ask all 30, then statistically there are three new teammates on your list. How awesome would that be if we each had three new teammates to add to our teams, okay? But remember, you're gonna, if you ask 30 people, you're gonna hear 27 no's, statistically, to your three yeses. So you have to be okay with hearing no and, no, and understand that each no gets you closer to that yes. They're not rejecting you personally, it's just not the right time right then. So I encourage you to do your activity Star your three three ladies that you're going to contact, and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.